Hello everyone and welcome to another video where I recreate famous logos in Figma. In this video, which is going to be a very quick one because this logo is extremely simple to create, we're going to take a look at the Figma logo. And without further ado, let's get started. So here I have an image of the Figma logo that I found online and we're going to analyze this a little bit. So what do we have here? You can notice one thing right away. The Figma logo appears to be consisting of circles or rounded rectangles. So that's something to take into consideration. You can also notice that there seems to be something very predictable about the proportions of these individual shapes and that all of them appear to be the same width and height, right? The circle is the same height as this purple rectangle, which appears to be the same width and height as all the remaining shapes. So you could make the assumption that Figma logo is consisting of six individual equally sized areas with different color and different corner roundings. This is further confirmed by the fact that the logo is 100 pixels wide and 150 pixels tall. This is a 2 to 3 ratio, right? 2, 2 to 3 ratio. And since 100 is 2 and 150 is 3, then one unit of the length and width needs to be, of course, 50, right? Because you have two units on the width and two units make up 100 and then three units on the height, which totally make up 150. Well, by simple math, you deduce that one unit of length is 50, which means we're gonna use the rectangle tool by pressing R on our keyboards and then clicking once. We're gonna change the color of this rectangle and then change the transparency of this rectangle. Additionally, we're gonna change the width and height of this rectangle to 50 by 50. So this is one unit of, of the Figma logo layout, right? Now I'm gonna duplicate this and make sure these edges touch right here. There is zero spacing between these two. In total, this should be 100 by 50, right? Which corresponds to the 100 pixel width of the logo in total. Right now, what I need to do is take these and then duplicate them once and twice. And then what I'm gonna do is of course remove this one area because that one is not necessary. Now, there is something called corner rounding going on. And in this case, where it's a circle, the corner rounding is, well, absolute. It's 100% basically. So on 50 by 50, where to get a fully rounded circle, you need to have 25 on the all corner radiuses, right? So I'm typing in 25 in this area that says corner radius with this square selected. And then of course you have these two shapes that have only the top left and bottom left corners rounded, which means I'm gonna select these two, go to independent corners over here. And then under the top left one, I'm gonna type in 25, right? And then the bottom left one, I'm also going to type in 25. And this one, that's going to be precisely the opposite. So instead of 25, 0, 0, 25, this is going to be 0, 25, 25, 0, right? You can see the Figma logo is already taking shape. And finally, this green shape over here, uh, this uh, what reminds me of a droplet, I think that is going to be 25, 0, 25, and 25. So as you can see, the shape of the Figma logo is there. It's already finished. What we need to do next is take individual shapes from what we have just created and sample the color by selecting the object, pressing I on our keyboard and then sampling the color from the corresponding shape, right? So I select this rectangle, sample the color from here this rectangle, sample the color from here. This rectangle, sample the color from here. And here we go. This is how you create the Figma logo in Figma. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate you leaving a like. And also on my channel, you can find more videos of me recreating famous logos in Figma. Some more complicated than the others. This one is definitely going towards the more simple ones. But if you're interested in logo design in Figma, go and check out my channel. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you in the next one.